Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. Today I'm going to give you a free-to-play SR-only strategy to beat the Chapter 10 boss, Ice Bear Alpha. My total team power was around 57.9 thousand, which is much lower than the 72 thousand that was recommended. I also use SRs and below. I don't use any Fire Elemental Hunters, I stuck with my break team which I'd use for Igris. Even though you can't break this boss, I didn't want to invest in other Hunters as these guys are pretty strong. Kang also does very well by poisoning the boss, which does well against high HP bosses since the damage is based on the target's HP. He's the real MVP with his support skill and is one of the reasons he's a top tier hunter despite being SR. This chapter's boss is much more flexible for hunters, I'd go all in on damage dealing hunters. For weapon, I use two fire weapons. Razan's blade is incredible. This R weapon had carried my other account when I attempted chapter 10 and 11. Don't underestimate it just because it's an R weapon. Advance it for some crazy damage. Especially at advanced 5, your damage dealt to boss monsters by flame slash increases by 44%. Next, the second weapon is the dragon scale broadsword, which I chose for a decent fire damaging weapon. This is the one that I primarily attack with. Unfortunately for this weapon, you do have to roll for it. Next for artifacts, I use the Lion set for Sun Jin Wu and Kang because I need the attack percentage. I use the Holy set for Yu Jin Hu because he scales off HP, and I use the new Hunter set for Kim Chul because he scales off defense. Next for skills, I still use my break skills since I leveled those up. You'll need to break so often in this game that I wouldn't swap it out for other skills just for dealing with a boss that doesn't have a break gouge. Next let's begin. You have some bears to deal with right away and sort of a mini boss. Try to group them and do AoE. If your power is very low, then you'll likely run out of time if you don't hurry up. For this tough mini boss bear, try your best to dodge. I flame slash as much as possible. Next is the boss Ice Bear Alpha. This boss has lots of HP and hits really hard. Your best strategy is to avoid his slow attacks. Shadows are great distractions and so are your teammates. I use my ultimate right away when I get it so I can use it again later. I dodge his huge AoE as well. When he does his leap, he does it 3 times, it hurts a ton and you want to avoid those as much as possible. Also if you get hit you fall down and you lose a bunch of time. Next, the boss will summon stones, take out all three as quickly as possible. Many times for this boss, once he finishes an attack or falls over, he immediately gets up for a surprise attack. 
Here I get hit with one and a chunk of my HP goes away. So don't approach right away when you think he's done attacking. The boss goes down and with 5 seconds too so it's definitely very close. But luckily this was because my total power was low, if it was higher then this would definitely be less close. This boss is easier than Icarus because his attacks are slower, you also have shadows and teammates which are great distractions. Dodging is key here because you don't want to be hit, they definitely hurt a ton. It's good to invest in a fire weapon now since it'll also help you with chapter 11. Also, Kang's poison as his support skill is great against high HP bosses like this bear, so be sure to take advantage of this. You will experience more bears in other instances and you definitely want to take them down quickly. So good luck beating the Ice Bear Alpha and I hope these tips helped you out. If you enjoyed this video please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's a video that I would recommend, and if you want more solo leveling Arise content check out this playlist over here.